Hello everyone, Steve Siebel back with publicspeakersblog.com. Okay, here's my post-COVID-19 professional speaker strategy, especially those of you who wanna be or are keynote speakers. My phone has been ringing off the hook for the last roughly 30 to 45 days, roughly a couple weeks after the shutdown started with uh, calls from keynote speakers all over the country, many of them seven-figure speakers, some six-figure speakers, that doing this full-time. And they said, what do you think is gonna happen? What should I do? I've got $300,000, $500,000, you know, $800,000 in speeches booked for the rest of the year. I don't know if they're gonna happen or not with the shutdown. I don't have any other business or any way of making money. Any advice? The Million Dollar Speakers Group and National Speakers um, has been kind of going back and forth in meetings, trying to figure out what the next play is and all that. So, so I figured I would do a post about this because it's very important. And, you know, it's interesting because I've been predicting the downfall of the speaking business now for a couple of years, not because of course any pandemic, because we never saw that coming, of course, but because content is becoming so rampant, obviously on the internet that if you don't have something really unique to say from stage, you're irrelevant. It's on YouTube, it's all over the internet. It wasn't like that just a five and six years ago even, it wasn't like it is now. We can learn anything by typing it into YouTube, you're typing it into Google or any other engine, search engine like that, and we can find out anything we need to know. So I've literally been trying to coach keynote speakers in the Bill Gope speech workshop that what you need to do is build a business, not a speaking career. I was lucky because Larry Wilson and Bob Proctor and Bill Gove and Bill Brooks and a lot of other top speakers took me under their wing 25 years ago and taught me to build a taught, taught me how to build a business and not just a career. Because if it ever changes, if something ever happens, I, we didn't see this coming, of course, but if, if, if the business changes, like content became free, keynote speakers are going to be out of business or they're going to be in big trouble. Well, so now what people are asking all the time is they're saying, well, I'm going to do my speech this year on Zoom or on some other platform online. What should I charge? Well, it's a really good question. Here's the problem. Most keynote speakers, even many, many, I would say the majority, frankly, of the top keynote speakers, and I know most of the seven-figure speakers, if not all of them in this country that are non-celebrities, don't have a lot to say. They don't have a lot of content. Their books are this thick because they don't really have that big of a message. They have one speech that's 45 minutes long. They got a little more content in their book, maybe, maybe not, but they're just really entertaining speakers. They're very, very good on the platform and that's the business they're really in. The entertainment business, not the content business. Keynote speakers are not known for content. They're known for entertainment. And a lot of people do not understand that, which is the reason they don't make money in this business. It's an entertainment medium. So we teach in the Bill Gove Speech Workshop. It's when what's taught, what's been taught in this workshop since 1947. The hardest thing to do, but the thing you get paid the most for is not your information. You get paid for your ability to entertain a live audience. Now, that a lot of people don't understand that. And that's why keynote speakers are about to see the biggest mass of keynote speakers in the history of this business are about to go broke and to go out of business. It's a terrible thing, but companies are not gonna reopen conventions and take the chance of being sued, like McDonald's is being sued right now because the workers are getting sick. Johnson & Johnson, Procter & Gamble, Microsoft, all these companies I've worked for over the years, they are not gonna take that chance of getting sued for billions of dollars because they hold a convention in Las Vegas or somewhere and, and, and half of their people get sick with coronavirus and die. It's not gonna happen. Keynote speakers are done for a long time. So if they don't have a business behind a keynote speech, they're gonna be out of business. And that's happening every day right now because this is not going away. You can listen to the political right or the political left, but if you listen to the scientists, they will tell you this is a virus. This is gonna be here for years. The world is gonna change. It's already in progress and it's not going away because we open up social distancing or restaurants or whatever. It doesn't mean the virus is, it's a virus. It's not leaving town, unfortunately. So what's the message going forward in the, in the current COVID-19 and then eventually in a couple of years, a post COVID-19 speaking business environment? What's the, what's the, what's the strategy? Two things. 
and I believe in this 100%. I built my whole business on these two things. But now people are listening more because they can't entertain a live audience because there are no live audiences. And do it, you can't, good luck entertaining your audience on Zoom. Unless you have a cure for cancer, Zoom is not gonna be real profitable over time. They might do a couple of speeches on Zoom. It's not the same thing. Entertainers don't work on Zoom. You don't see any concerts being paid for. They're not selling tickets on Zoom. Notice that. They might do concerts for free. I don't think anyone's going to pay for them. I might be wrong. I don't know why they would. They can go on YouTube or any other service and watch concerts. I do it all the time on Apple TV. It's free. Basically free. It's not going to happen in speaking either. People are whistling past the graveyard. So that's the bad news. What's the good news? Two things. Here's the strategy going forward. One, build a business behind your keynote speaking career. Build a real business. Like I saw the crash in speaking coming with the content piece being proliferated all over the internet about three or four years ago, right? So we started a business online from home teaching people how money works. And we're educating hundreds and hundreds of people every week on how money works uh, from home. And our business is thriving. We're seeing eight to 10 clients a day sometimes over Zoom and other uh, platforms like Join Me and those kinds of things um, from home. And we're into six figures in the first year and a half of the startup of the business. I worked my speaking into it. I wrote a book called How Money Works with a gentleman named Tom Matthews. And we're building a financial services business in 37 states across the country. Why did I do that? Because I saw the crash coming in the keynote speaking business. Now, I didn't know it was going to be a pandemic. I thought it was going to be a content crash. But regardless, now the business is over for a very long time. Okay, the first strategy, start a business. You want to start a business teaching people how money works? I'll show you how to start the business for $300 and you can join me. If you want to do something else, do something else. But regardless of what you do, start a real business, either based on your speaking career, the content in which you present when you speak or something where you can make money at home, online, at home, shipping through the mail, Amazon, whatever it is. Do not rely on your speaking income anymore. It's going to be probably 18 months to two years before the business is back to anywhere close to where it was three months ago. And I think anyone that disagrees with that is kidding themselves. They're watching too much television. They're listening to too many politicians with wishful thinking. Listen to the scientists. This is not going away. Okay, the good news is you can be in six and seven figures like we are by building another business outside of your keynote speaking business. Okay, that's number one. Number two is... Most keynote speakers, and I'm a keynote speaker. I've been a keynote speaker for 23 years at the seven-figure level. So I'm one of these keynote speakers. Most keynote speakers don't really say anything. I, I used to like to kid my, my business partner, Keith Harrell, who was for many years, probably 10 years, the top corporate keynote speaker in big companies that I work with. Um, we had a deal, a back-end deal, where he would do the front-end keynote for companies, and I would do all the back-end consulting and training, and we made millions and millions of dollars together for 10 years before he passed away. But I used to tell Keith Harrell that I used to say, you know what? You're probably the best keynote speaker in the country right now. And you're really, really great. And you're really, really entertaining at saying almost nothing. And I used to kid up because we were best friends. I'd say, you say nothing. You're not telling, you're telling people attitude is everything and they can do it. And they're better than they think they are. And all these things that mean effective, you know, they're inspirational and they're motivational. And that's what he did. You're not really saying there's no content, but you're so entertaining when you say it that you're a multimillionaire because of it. And that's great until the world shuts down, until content is free. So my second recommendation and my record, Keith hired me to do the back end of his business, basically. We were business partners. And so I did that and we made millions. He made more money on the back end with, with us than he did on the front end giving speeches, uh, sometimes 150 dates a year. That's 300 days a year on the road, at least. So the second suggestion is, Build unique points of view into your keynote speech. So if you get called to do a Zoom call, to do a Zoom speech, and you want to get paid for it, you actually have something to say that's unique that they can't buy on the internet, that they can't find on the internet. Because you've actually worked through your content. You're not just saying, you know, have a positive attitude. Eat less, exercise more. Think big and you'll be big. You guys, that, that, those days are gone. Those, those were great days in the 1970s, 80s, and 90s, and even some 2000s. Those days are gone. The world's much more sophisticated now. They're not paying for that. Keynote speakers are all about to go broke, almost all of them, unless they're business people. And most of them, frankly, are not. They're nice people, but they're not business people. 
And so build a business and then with your keynote speech, build unique selling, sell, build unique um, points of view into your speech so you have something unique to say. Okay, whatever that is that goes along with your content. We've been teaching this in the Bill Grove Speech Workshop. Again, well, the workshop's been teaching it for 74 years. We've been teaching it for roughly 25 years. And so uh, it's very important, but now it's critical. Now you either do this or you won't be in the speaking business for very long because the world is now shut down for at least a year, maybe, maybe two years. So hopefully that helps. I know it's a long post, but you're not going to hear it in too many places because frankly, you guys, very few people in this business understand this. Very few. That's why they're going broke because they don't understand how to build a business instead of a career. And, uh, and they've been getting away with it for a long time because the market's been so flush for the last 10 years. You could be a halfwit and make big money in the speaking business, frankly, in the last 10 years because it's been so easy. Well, those days are gone. And we may not see them for a very, very long time. So now you're going to have to be savvy to make money in this business. And you can do this. It's something you can do. Learn it, study it, and you can make it happen. You can, we're going to see more people make big money in this business, I think, in the future than ever but only the savvy ones, only the business people, not the, not the people that just get up and talk. That's, those days are gone. It's over. So good news and bad news. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching the blog. See you next time.